Hey guys, it's Emily Saker here. Um, I'm going to do a little tutorial today on how to use the program Blogstomp, and hopefully it's going to be a kind of short tutorial. Um, I've got a dog on my lap right now. He's really scared because of the wind. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. Um, Blogstomp is something that I've been using for probably close to five years now, and it's a really great tutorial for especially photographers, but I think really anybody can benefit from it, uh, creative people, anybody that blogs. Um, so basically, the goal with Blogstomp was to uh, give photographers a program that they can put their images into and it easily will resize them, watermark the photos, uh, put them into collages, whatever they need. Um, so this is a really great program and um, so we're going to go ahead and start the tutorial. Um, we'll open it up here. Uh, it's very straightforward. The whole program is really simple to learn. Um, and it's really one of those things that I think that every photographer should own. <laughs> so um, we'll go ahead, these buttons up here, we have Freestyle, Batch, Blog, Facebook, Twitter, Gallery, and Settings. I honestly don't do a whole lot with uh, the Blog, Facebook, Twitter, and Gallery options. I know some photographers uh, make use of those. They'll blog directly from Blogstomp or they will upload photos directly to Facebook from Blogstomp. Um, and I just don't upload uh, that many photos to Facebook um, and so I just don't utilize that very much but if that's something that you're interested in um, it is really nice that they have those options for you um, all right so let's go ahead and we'll dive in we'll go over here to settings right over here we have all of the different styles and basically a style is kind of like a preset for um, for the photos so I have lots of different um, styles over here. So I have this one, Emily Sacro blog, and this is the one that I'll use for all of my photos that go onto my blog. Um, and the presets that I use, they're very simple, very straightforward, but you can make them as um, intricate as you'd like. So Blogstomp has really improved over the last couple of years since I've started using it. And you can do lots of different things. So you can change the background color. Um, mine is just white, very simple. Um, I have it set to longest edge, which basically means that the um, 930 pixels will only be on the longest size. And if you had it set to image width, but that means that if you had a vertical photo just by itself, that it would be 930 pixels all the way across here. And I just don't typically like that. I like being able to see most of the photo when you're looking at a blog post. Um, so I have mine set to longest edge. Um, no border, but you can make... Um, big borders, small borders, different color borders. Um, if you wanted a border like this, you could change the background cover or color, um, but we're not gonna do that because I don't, I don't wanna change mine. <laughs> um, you can change the tab height over here. Um, I know some photographers do this and they'll put like a logo down here um, and then you can add your logo, upload it, uh, change the logo size, and it's really nice you can lock in the positioning of your logo too. So then you don't have to constantly be moving it around. Um, so this is one of those things we'll get, we'll put this back where it was supposed to be. Uh, margin is for when you're, when you have uh, two photos or several photos together. The margin is um, the, the space in between. So I have mine set to five pixels, uh, but you can make it as wide or as small, whatever you'd like. Uh, so I have lots of different styles over here. This one, um, this one is my, my Facebook stomp. And so it's set to 2048 pixels and that is the image width instead of the longest size like before. Um, so I just have my logo here and uh, Facebook is the only time I put a logo on anything um, just because I prefer to have it looking a little bit cleaner on my blog. Uh, but you can do whatever you want and uh, add your logos down here and it just makes it really really simple. Um, Alright so let's go to output over here. Um, you have lots of different settings here, so you can choose where you want the photos to save to, where you want the blog stomp folder to be. Um, and these options down here, you can choose what you want the file name to be. And most of the time, I will choose custom file name, and I will make it uh, something that has to do with the blog post, because that's really going to help with my SEO. Um, so keywording, let's just do uh, Keaton and Emily uh, Backyard Wedding. Um, in Elkton, Virginia. Uh, so that'll just give us a good baseline for the keywords. Um, another option that you have here is sharpening, which is really, really nice. Uh, when you upload photos to the internet, they just really lose a lot of the sharpness. Um, 
So let's, uh, I'll show you for example, um, I have basic sharpening turned on and uh, I have mine set to 12. So you can make it as much uh, as you want or as little. So you can see uh, the difference here. And you can see that it's just getting a little bit crunchy and I don't like that. So I have mine set to 12 because I feel like that's a good, um, kind of in between, it's, um, it still sharpens the photo back to where it was, but it's not, it's not too crunchy. All right, so we'll save that. We'll go back here. Um, the two options up here, we have freestyle and then there's batch. The difference between them is batch is just going to resize all of your photos all at once. Um, in freestyle, you're able to make collages and um, really kind of rearrange the order of how you want the photos um, to be um, to be stomped. So let's go ahead. We're going to upload a couple more here. Let's just do this. All right, so they upload really fast, which is really nice. Um, so let's start over here. Uh, I typically start with a horizontal photo just because I'm a little OCD like that and I think that it looks a lot better. Um, so all you do is you click on the photo that you want under freestyle and then you hit stomp it and then it's going to show up in your stomped folder. Um, so here it is right there and it'll already be the resized file. It's 930 pixels just like I wanted it to be. Um, and it's already sharpened for the web as well. Um, so then if you wanted to do a collage, you could, um, let's select these two. Um, so hit this one and then on Mac it's command and you have these two photos together. And then over here you can have different options whether you want it um, to be like this or more like this. And you're also able to mix it up. So since there's only two, there's really only uh, two options here. <laughs> um, so if this is the, um, the collage that you want, then you would just stomp that right there. Um, there we go, there it is. And then it shows up right here. And there you go. Um, so this is really helpful because um, you're able to make these collages for your blog posts super fast. And I can be done with a wedding, have um, you know 200 images resized and collaged, ready to go for my blog in under five minutes. Um, and it just works so well and it's super fast, super easy. Um, so just the enter key here will stomp the photos, go right through here. So this is just like, if I were doing something like uh, a wedding, um, I would have my favorites selected and go ahead and I would start making these collages just like this and they're stomping just as we're uh, going through and it's just super fast. Um, so, uh, that's one way to do it. You can do freestyle. Uh, one other thing I'll show you is you can do lots of um, different kinds of collages. Uh, it doesn't have to be just two. When I first started using Blog Stomp, I think you could use up to five, but now with the new versions, you're able to do, man, I don't even know how many, a lot, probably, I mean, definitely past 10. Um, I'm thinking somewhere around 20, but you can do a lot of, um, a lot of photos in a collage. So let's just select a random uh, number here. So um, over here it gives you all the different options for how those photos can be arranged. So let's look at this one. Um, and it's perfect because it's going to be resized to your uh, the width that you selected, so 930 pixels here for me. Um, and all of the photos are just in a cute little collage. It's got the five pixel margin that I wanted. Um, and you can mix it up however you want. Um, and so it just works really well. And so then if you stomp it right there, then we'll open it up here. Where did it go? Don't remember where I put it. I think it's, yep, there it is. <laughs> um, all right. So this is how it looks. It's just a, a simple collage, but it took about three seconds to do. Um, so super easy, works really, really well. Um, all right, so let's look here. If you wanted to do um, a batch, this one, if you click on batch here, like I said before, this just means that it's going to stomp all of them. So if you know that you don't want any collages and you just want them all to be exactly the same, um, you just want a logo at the exact same spot and you just want all of the size or images to be resized one specific way, um, you would go to batch and then click on the first image and stomp it. And then it immediately starts working on getting all of those uh, images resized and put back into your folder. So that's a really quick tutorial on how I use Blog Stomp and I use it all the time. Um, it's really, really a helpful tool 
and if you're a photographer and you're not using it you really should be because it's going to save you so much time and pain and it's going to be uh, the best tool that you ever download for your photography I promise um, so I'm going to put a link in the description um, and on my blog post and you'll be able to download it right from there and I hope that this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions if you, uh, please feel free to let me know and I'll definitely look into it and see if I have any answers for you. Alright, hope it was helpful. Bye guys.